Our next plant is Cornus moss. This is Cornelian cherry dogwood in the Cornaceae. Okay, so uh, there are a few really uh, common traits to uh, many cornice. So one, most cornice have oppositely arranged leaves. That is, they have two leaves born per node. Okay, and this is, uh, it does share uh, those traits. Also, dogwoods tend to have RQ8 uh, uh, venation pattern. That means that coming from the base, they kind of bow out, run the longitudinally, and then meet back at the top. So if you look at each one of these, they do kind of go in a bowed uh, arc from the base up to the top, and then they meet, um, uh, meet again at the midrib, okay? Another cool trait that I like about dogwoods is that you can do a little magic trick. So when you're at a, uh, a party, you can uh, you know, wow your friends and family by doing this magic trick uh, due to these, um, these uh, uh, thread-like uh, structures in the uh, venation. Okay? So these are little threads that are inside the venation so you can separate the plant or separate the leaf com completely. It's almost like spider webs inside. So that's common to all dogwood that I'm familiar with. One departure, if you are familiar, if you've heard of dogwoods, you probably think of those large white bracts. Okay? And that's, I'm from North Carolina and that's typically what I think of as, as flowering dogwood. However, this is a, uh, there are actually three different groups of, of dogwoods. There are the big bracted ones, there are the small white flowers, and then there's this group. Cornus moss is closely related to corn, uh, Cornus officinalis. And so Cornus moss actually has really bright yellow, almost school bus yellow, uh, very small flowers that are born in very early spring. This is another extremely early flowering uh, species. Okay? So it's a small tree in the landscape Depending on the cultivar, it can take a little bit of work to make it a, uh, uh, stay a small tree as opposed to allowing it to become very shrubby. Okay? But in addition to those uh, lovely bright yellow flowers in early spring, by uh, mid-summer, uh, mid to late summer, you actually get these really gorgeous uh, red fruit. Okay? So these are a single seed inside. They are edible. They're not especially delicious, uh, but they're used actually uh, in a number of Eastern Bloc countries, so Russia and other places like that, uh, to, to make uh, various jams and jellies and even a, a, a syrup that they use in uh, some alcoholic beverages. So this is one of my, I really, really like this plant. It's got multi-season interest. As they mature, they actually have attractive bark. So you've got really um, uh, beautiful yellow flowers in early spring. You have red fruit and nice clean foliage uh, during the summer. And then uh, it doesn't have especially great fall color, but then during winter you do have, uh, oftentimes you'll have pretty attractive bark. So again, multi-season, large shrub, small tree in the landscape with no real serious pest and disease problems.